It's not that really that Catholics have their own Bible and non-Catholics or Protestants have another Bible. We have to say or put it this way, the Bible that we see today or that we hold today, it's not just a book. It is a library. It is a collection of many books. In the Catholic Bible, what we call the Catholic Bible, in the Old Testament, we have 46 books. The New Testament doesn't pose a problem because both sides, both Catholics and non-Catholics or Protestants, agree that there are 27 books. So why some people say Catholics have their own Bible is because there are more books in the Catholic Bible than in the Protestant Bible. What the Catholics consider Old Testament books, there are some of them which Protestants do not consider as such. They will call them deuterocanonical books, but the Catholics consider them as part of the Bible that they have. So that is why people say there are two, but in actual fact, we don't have two Bibles. Not really Catholics, we cannot say Catholics put the Bible together. We have to know that the Old Testament of the Bible that we have today existed before Christianity. That you can call the Bible of the Jews. So the Old Testament was already in existence in Jewish communities. And if we have today this difference that they say Catholics have their own Bible and Protestants also have their own, it is because the, the, the Jews already in their own times, before we, it was incorporated into what we call now the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, had two sets of what call it Bibles. That is to say, the Hebrew Bible and the Greek Bible, the Greek translation of the Hebrew text. There are some books in the Greek translation which are not found in the Hebrew Bible, but they were also considered sacred by the Jews, particularly those who were in the diaspora. So when the Christians who were majority in the Greek-speaking world, adopted the Jewish Bible. They adopted the Greek, which is called the Septuagint, and not the Hebrew Bible or the Masoretic text. So because of that, they have 46 books, whereas the Hebrew text has The seven which are less are the Greek books which are not in Hebrew. Because of that, we can say we inherited the Old Testament from the Jews. And inheriting it, we inherited it from the Septuagint, from the Greek side and not the Hebrew side. But with time, Christians got to know also of the Hebrew Bible itself. So that difference has made it that Catholics continue to adopt the Septuagint as the Old Testament, and non-Catholics, call it Protestants, they, they take the Hebrew Bible as the whole thing.